Hey guys, today I wanted to share with you a typical grocery haul, and I say typical, but this is fairly new because in the past few weeks I've been trying to not buy meat at the grocery store. So um, I do shop for two people, myself and my boyfriend. We go to a normal grocery store. Um, I don't go to Whole Foods or anywhere that has a bulk section, which kind of stinks, but it's so close that it really doesn't make sense for me to go anywhere else I can walk there in five minutes so it's extremely close so I'm just gonna jump right into what I got and the first thing that I'm gonna show you is this coffee it's Pete's coffee I don't drink coffee this is for my boyfriend um, and he likes this so that's what I get and then I got some fresh mozzarella tofu this is sesame ginger and since trying to phase out meat I found that having kind of like a meat replacements like this is really helpful because it's just something that I don't have to think about that much and I mean hopefully down the line I will be able to kind of phase this stuff out as well because it does come in a lot of packaging but for now I think it's helpful and it makes it a little bit easier so I like to use this on salads and in like stir fries and then I also got Brussels sprouts. This was the only packaged vegetable that I got. And I've just been really craving Brussels sprouts recently, so I just got them even though they're in packaging. And then I got organic eggs. Okay, so next is all of the fresh produce. So I got three tomatoes, two oranges, a head of lettuce, um, a cucumber, an onion, four potatoes, um, two kiwis, a red cabbage or purple cabbage. I don't know what this is called. Um, and then bananas. And then on this side, I have more packaged stuff. So these are vegan sausages from the Field Roast um, brand. I don't know if this is like well known or whatever, but they are um, grain meat sausages. Let's see, it is made out of, its primary ingredient is wheat gluten. So next I got these corn chicken patties and they're meatless and soy free. And I like getting these, one, because they're soy free and they taste just like chicken would. Um, but I also like them because they don't have any plastic packaging on the inside. It's just the cardboard and then the patties are like directly inside on the cardboard. So that's nice. I can just recycle these boxes. I also got these buns to go with the chicken. And then I got yogurt for parfaits. Black beans for tacos. and some um, canned fruit. I got mangoes and pineapples to make a puree out of these and then freeze it. Um, and then you can make like parfaits out of it or just eat it as kind of like a sorbet and it's really good. So that's actually everything that I got in this grocery trip. And it doesn't seem like a lot and it's actually probably not a lot um, calorically, but I do have a lot of um, rice and pasta those like grains and i have some leftover stuff from last week in the fridge so this was just kind of to like make meals with what i have already um but yeah this is kind of like a typical grocery haul of mine i just wanted to show you because i am on a low waste journey but this is just one area where it's really hard to compromise so i'm just doing the best that i can with cutting out meat and I'm um, trying to do as much as I can without packaging um, and what I do buy in packaging, trying to make sure that it's easily recyclable. So let me know if you have any tips and tricks for avoiding packaging at a regular grocery store and let me know some of your favorite vegetarian staples. Um, I'm still in the learning process and I'd love to know about more dishes. Um, I use Pinterest but some of those seem like a little far-fetched so if you have any quick and easy um, meal ideas then leave them in the comments below i love to learn from you guys as always and thank you again so much for watching i will see you in my next video bye